Twitter. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you two techniques for preserving your yam tubers. The first technique is no freeze. The second technique, you have to freeze. Please stick with me and I will show you. The first video I'm going to be sharing with you, I learned it from my grandma growing up. I never saw her having any bad yams growing up and this was her style of preserving yams so first up you want to look for a cool place in is in, in your kitchen and uh, please don't put your yams on on the bare floor on your tiles it's going to make the yams to rot so you look for a used carton or a wood and then you see this yam you just turn it upside down place your yams upside down and that is just it when you do this your yams will last long it will not grow out any roots it will stay fresh nothing will happen to it and these yams I actually had them since january when it came back from the holiday and it has been like this and it has not gone bad so try it out and let me know okay thank you and please if you have not liked or subscribed please do that now i beg you now the second technique is actually the freezing style i'm going to be sharing with you how to freeze for your ordinary yam boiling your yam and also for your fried yam or a fried yam so i'm just going to peel it off now and then cut them into my desired piece, pieces um, i'm going to do the round ones and then when i do the rounds round ones i will now cut the ones for yam porridge so this is me trying to peel my arms i tried to peel it on the table it was not too convenient and then i'm also cutting for my yam porridge now after cutting it all you just need to do is wash them up and keep them on on a dry surface to dry and then put them in your ziploc bags and then throw it in your freezer make sure you have a good freezer that will work for you freezing make sure there is no air in this particular um ziplock make sure it is air proof remove every air from it and make sure you pack them neatly because it's going to save you time it's going to save you energy it's going to save you stress and also remember to clean up the water on it so that when you are freezing them they don't gum together that is why i'm doing this i'm trying to clean off to dry it up before i put it in the ziploc bag because if i just throw it in like that it's going to um, stick together and i don't want that so just do that and put it in your freezer the second one i'm going to share with you is how to freeze yam for your fries and your yamarita if you are someone that like to have fries for your family you can try this style Okay, cut them into wedges, into uh, smaller wedges, and then when you cut them into smaller wedges, you will just wash them up, wash them up, and then that is it. But the difference between the second technique and this particular technique is that you are going to boil them a little bit. You boil them for. Um, like about one minute but before you boil them I want you to spice up your yams with your salt the spice of your choice any spice that you like spice it up as much as you like okay then throw it inside your boiling water now the reason why you are going to boil it is so that it come out a little bit moist. Now you are only allowed to boil this yam for exactly one minute. You can decide to do it for less but I do mine for one minute because my wedges are a bit bigger. So that's how after boiling it, spice it up. Spice it up. Okay, spice it up and that's it. So 
So we are done with our spicy. Now we are going to put them back into the freezer on top of our uh, kitchen towel or our parchment paper. If you have parchment paper, you can use, but I ran out of it in the house, so I, I'm using this. So put them and line it up like this. Okay. Now, when you are done with this, the next thing you do is to freeze it up. When you freeze it up, you would love the result after this. Now it's time for you to pack them up. Pack them up the way it is. You see, even if you put them in the freezer, they will not stick together. They will stay on their own, each, each, one, one. <laughs> so pack it like this and this is good for you when you come back from church, come back from work, your children, you just quickly bring it out, boil it, fry it, do whatever you want to do, save yourself time. So I did three types for fries, for regular white boiled white yam and for your yam porridge. You can see them. So this is my style of, of preservation. So I want to show you how this particular preservation style is going to work. You will love how moist this thing is. If I had frozen it the other way, I tried it the other style and it came out really dry. So I had to use this style and after doing it, I don't want it any other way. It is very important. And then I put it in my air fryer. and look at how moist it's looking look at how soft you can fry yours if you want it will come out soft it will come out nice it will come out delicious and of course i'm putting it beside the bold the one i boiled you can see it's looking moist it's looking soft it has saved you time it has saved you energy thank you for watching and please like and subscribe love you bye